Pulmonary embolism can be central or peripheral, depending on where the thrombus actually gets stuck. Patients can present with coughing up blood, so hemoptysis, tachycardia, even syncope, of course with dyspnea, and a reduction in oxygen saturation and a reduction in CO2 measurements. The ECG of a patient with a pulmonary embolism shows several signs. None of them are very sensitive or very specific and very frequently tachycardia is the only sign in small pulmonary embolism in the ECG. You can see T-wave inversions, V1 to leads V4, a QR in V1, a S1, Q3, a T3 type, a right bundled branch block can appear and the onset of atrial fibrillation can be triggered. This is the ECG of a patient with an acute pulmonary embolism. The signs you have, they are rather unspecific. What is most striking is that the patient is tachycardic. In the second example, this was a central pulmonary embolism. The patient also shows tachycardia. There is a T-wave inversion in leads 2 and 3, furthermore in AVF. Another finding is this S in 1 and the small Q in lead 3. It's harder to see, but it is definitely there. This ECG shows several signs of pulmonary embolism. 